borderline. It seems like I'm going to lose my mind. You just keep on pushing my love over the borderline, borderline. Keep pushing me, keep pushing me, keep pushing my love. Just keep on pushing my love over. Okay, you know I can't sing no more, right? Because I will get flagged, and that is not what I want. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to y'all, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Isn't that a beautiful scenery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it kind of relaxing? I hope so. I had to show up on camera today because a lot of y'all thought that um, I was doing my videos uh, remotely for a minute. And a lot of y'all told me, well, a couple of y'all told me, pop back up. <laughs> Because, you know, we be doing these videos about these personality disorder. And you just wanted to make sure that I wasn't under duress. But <laughs> it's not funny. But you are absolutely right. And so while I try to waste a little time here, before we get into this article, which is very serious, okay? Yeah, I mean, extremely, extremely serious. Um. And what that is, is talking about Amber Heard and, um, damn, Johnny Depp. And I'm not laughing at all because for those of y'all who don't, you know, we always talk about these personality disorders and a lot of people throw the word narcissist. You know, they just throw it around. And everybody is not a full-blown narcissist, right? And so... Because of Donald Trump, you know, it's just like some people are really, really beginning to take this serious more so than ever. However, what I'm trying to say is we need to be very mindful of, you know, a lot of these labels. I, I like to just say these people are just <sighs> something wrong with them, <laughs> you know. And like I said, everybody has a good day, has a bad day. But when this stuff starts consistently being a pattern, woo, that's when you are in trouble. And that's when you have to really evaluate um, what is going on in your life. And like I said before, I used to uh, look at the other person. What I've learned to do. And over the years, over the years, was to begin to look at myself, okay, to hell with them. I began to look at myself and I would ask myself, what, what am I doing? Okay. What am I doing? So with that being said, as I'm asking myself what I'm doing, I'm also trying to, this, all this happened through therapy though, but let me make sure I'm clear because at first I just thought, you know, you finally find a relationship, you finally find somebody that's on your team, you know, and you've been with them for a long time. You don't really want to throw away that relationship. Um, but then there are situations that they just defy all logic. And like, if you were following, well, if you know the Johnny Depp story, I mean, it was like he was with somebody for a long time, uh, maybe 14 years. Um, and knowing his background, I realized that he came from kind of like a abusive background. Okay, so when that happens, that's always a precursor for um, 
what you're looking for because you're looking for a corrective outcome. Your childhood blueprint is what allows a lot of this shit to continue to stay in your spirit. See, because the way mommy and daddy did you left damage on us. Not saying that they're bad people. They did what they knew. Okay. However, when you a little being coming to the world, you don't know all of that. All you know is the big people are upset. You know, they got these experiments on the internet and it's really, really interesting like little babies, and you learn this in childhood development, They and I'm glad they are starting to, you know, just put some of these things on the internet. And so while I was in child development, one of the things I learned um, was how babies see things. And you can actually start a baby off not being himself just by watching his parents' face. Okay, and I want you to watch your baby, your grandbabies, whoever, when you go home and they small. And I'm talking about like eight, nine, ten months. These are little babies year. They're looking at you even when they're not saying anything. And you can do these exercises where um, there are these exercises where the person, the caregiver is just goo goo gaga. And there's a give and take relationship going on. Right. And they're playing a game um, or whatever. And then all of a sudden, another care person comes in. This care person is loud and mean, though. Okay? Because it's a different going, hey, and being loud like that. Or coming in talking about, I had the fucked up day at work. And these people did. And the little baby is sitting there watching. Okay? And the person that's screaming probably goes over there and, and, and picks the game up there playing with and, or whatever. Stop playing that ball. And, you know, y'all should stop playing that ball, whatever. I mean, don't have to pick the ball up. And the baby begins to look at both parents. And then the baby don't want to play no more. Right? It's really deep. So as a baby, you being triggered and you being set up basically by unbeknownst to even your parents or how you going to see the world. So what develops a lot of time when that happens, um, borderline personality disorders, histrionic disorders. Um, wow. Um, all the kind of labels that the DSM has labeled, you know, bad or hard to get along with. They don't, I don't say bad. I should say hard. That's a problem. High conflict is okay with me because what happens is the, the stuff is so high conflict you can't deal with. But here's another thing. If you meet one of these, one of these personalities, when you at your most vulnerable state, you screw. And that's usually when they seem to zero in on you. Okay? When you're at your lowest. That's when they zero in. And they have an uncanny way of getting in so inside your soul. And um, a lot of people want to know, why you get involved? Why, why did he... Uh, you know, befriend her. Why did he get with her? Well, you know, in the Bible, they speak about that Jezebel spirit. And it's impossible to, um, you know, it's, 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 it's impossible unless you have some kind of knowledge or some spirit, even some, uh, no, I would say religious at, at this point. Some religious training. You don't know how to identify. You don't have that spirit of discernment. And sometimes you get caught up in these kind of uh, situations. And you can have all those experiences too, and yet still get caught up in them. Because they're like nailing jello to a tree. 
And so, um, I, you know, I th well, let me just do this because I think these legally people can express a lot better than what I'm saying. But this happens to be, a, you know, she done kicked his butt in, or had started fights with him in the elevator, starting fights with him. Oh, God. I lived this madness before. And that's why, um, you know, I, I have a sensitive spot for it. Whether your sociopath or psychopath is in the White House or whether they are, you know, your favorite actress on TV or whether they just your um, regular um, nurse. Some of this stuff is impossible to deal with. Another thing I've learned is that when you don't suffer a lot of abuse in the first place, um, it's easier for you to walk away from these type of uh, relationships and people because um, ideally your, your slate for abuse is higher. But if you're growing up in a chaotic situation, your tolerance for bullshit and craziness becomes part of your existence. And so your bar is really set kind of low, but you just don't know it. And it, and almost your attraction because becomes someone else that has the same damage. And you guys are just like Velcro. Um, and it's called, again, a trauma bond. So, uh, I want to do this, um, and shut my mouth and let y'all hear what they said about her. Amber Heard has symptoms of borderline personality disorder, according to forensic psychologist. What is it? Forensic psychologist Shannon Curry, who was hired by actor Johnny Depp's legal team, testified this Tuesday in the civil lawsuit between Depp and his ex-wife, actress Amber Heard, that she diagnosed the 36-year-old with borderline personality disorder, BPD, and histrionic personality disorder. Forensic psychologist Shannon Curry, who was hired by actor Johnny Depp's legal team, testified this Tuesday in the civil lawsuit between Depp and his ex-wife, actress Amber Heard, that she diagnosed the 36-year-old with borderline personality disorder, BPD, and histrionic personality disorder, according to a recent Time report. Personality is the way of thinking feeling and behaving that makes a person different from other people. An individual's personality is influenced by experiences, environment, surroundings, life situations, and inherited characteristics. A person's personality typically stays the same over time, according to the American Psychiatric Association. Someone may have a personality disorder when their way of thinking, feeling, and behaving deviates from the cultural expectations that causes problems with functioning over time, the association added. There are 10 personality disorders, which are defined by affecting at least two of the following areas. The way we think about ourselves, the way we respond emotionally, the way we relate to others, or the way we control our behavior. BPD is a lifelong personality pattern of having too many emotions and having a hard time managing them. As a result, people use them as your defense mechanisms that let them behave in ways that ultimately result in feeling or being abandoned, said Dr. L.E.G. Allen, addiction and forensic psychiatrist, at Columbia University and a member of the American Psychiatric Association Board of Trustees. According to the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition DSM-5, BPD is diagnosed on the basis of a pervasive pattern of instability relating to interpersonal relationships and self-image as well as impulsivity that begins by early adulthood with the diagnostic manual noting patients need to meet criteria for at least five symptoms. Some of the most common symptoms include frequent and intense mood swings, fear of real or imagined abandonment, difficulty maintaining healthy personal relationships, impulsive behavior like reckless driving and safe sexual activity or gambling, and paranoia, where people worry that others don't like them or don't want to spend time with them, for the Cleveland Clinic. Perry, who is not board certified, said that BPD is driven by an underlying fear of abandonment, so patients with this disorder will make desperate attempts to prevent that from happening. 
Allen told Fox News that BPD patients feel so emotionally isolated that they question their own existence. They engage in self-harming behaviors because they feel so empty inside that creating some type of physical pain allows them to overpower their mental capacity that Not all from the emotional pain that they are feeling. Depp's team hopes Curry's diagnosis will support audio clip evidence presented earlier in the trial that has heard begging Depp not to leave their relationship in spite of his desire to break up, according to Tan. Curry noted BPD also seems to be a predictive factor for women who implement violence against their partner, with Depp stating he's a victim of domestic violence because heard it multiple times, as well through paint cans and vodka bottles at him, per the news magazine. But on cross-examination, Heard's defense team noted Curry's opinions contradicted her doctor's reports that she was a domestic violence victim because of Depp, according to Newsweek. Even though Curry noted Heard did not meet criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, she said just because somebody doesn't have PTSD doesn't mean that they weren't harmed psychologically by whatever is being alleged in this case. Ms. Heard is alleging that she was psychologically harmed and that she suffered PTSD because of abuse that she alleges occurred by Mr. Depp. Curry interviewed Heard on December 10th and December 17th, 2021, for a total 12 hours and reviewed her medical records. But she noted to the defense team on cross-examination that she was interviewed by Depp's legal team at his home where she had dinner and drinks before she was placed on retainer, according to a recent People report. Persons with BPD often cause physical harm to themselves because feeling pain is often better than not feeling anything at all. They often act in socially inappropriate ways for the sole purpose of getting a reaction, even if it's negative because a negative reaction is better than no reaction at all in their eyes, Alan said. Like many women, I had been harassed and sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age. But I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice. And I didn't see myself as a victim, Hurt wrote in a 2018 op-ed article in the Washington Post. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Even though Heard's article never mentioned Depp by name, he is suing her for $50 million in Virginia's Fairfax County Circuit Court for defamation by implication since the piece refers to domestic abuse allegations Heard made when she filed for divorce in 2016, according to Time. Heard, however, filed a $100 million counterclaim for defamation for Depp's attorney calling her a liar for Yahoo News. I write this as a woman who had to change my phone number weekly because I was getting death threats. For months, I rarely left my apartment, and when I did, I was pursued by camera drones and photographers on foot, on motorcycles and in cars, Her wrote in her op-ed. I felt as though I was on trial in the court of public opinion, and my life and livelihood depended on myriad judgments far beyond my control. If you think you are a victim of domestic violence, Call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 800-799-7233 or go to thehotline.org. The hotline is available 24 and in more than 170 languages and calls are toll-free and confidential. Okay. You know, um, I don't know how this defamation character, I mean, uh, suit is uh, going to end. What I'm concerned about is people beginning, especially black people, especially us, because we are so emotionally retarded. Okay, we're we are so emotionally retarded, and it's got to get to a point where we realize and begin to admit that ninety percent of us, ninety eight, ninety nine, <laughs> hell have been brought up in abusive situations. Most of our families are not healthy. I don't care how much you love them. I don't care oh. how much you say, oh, I'm finna get you now. Ain't nothing wrong with my family. Yes, it is. If you're one of the few, God bless you. Maybe you're one of the few who had grew up in a healthy um, household where your parents were allowed you to express yourself, where you had uh, family meetings and y'all were allowed to express how each and everyone felt, um, how you were acknowledged and your thoughts and your behaviors were not trivialized and you were not beaten if you were not abused in that way with an ironing cord and a belt until you got, you know, listen, in our culture, 
there are some things that we learn from slavery. And until we acknowledge that, it's going to be real difficult for us to ever move forward um, from being slaves. You know what I'm saying? Like beating your children with ironing cords. What in the hell, what good could come of that? I mean, what good could come out of, this is the history of us getting beaten. We either got, we got beat with whatever our parents could put, get their hands on. A lot of them sent us outside to get switches. And so they could tie them up to be morbid, to whip our asses. Okay? I'm not saying that there was some punishment involved and that you didn't do some shit that maybe you might have had to have a little. But usually, when you get hit, it don't do nothing but make you mad. And for certain personalities, they suppress it. Okay? And just that suppression will make a glitch. Make a glitch in the hard drive. And the hard drive is your soul, your brain, your your activity, the way you perceive life. Okay? <laughs> That's why a lot of people talk crazy about and I'm not saying that I agree with how they raise their children because I believe they have to have some rules, some boundaries, and some limitations. I do believe that. But I also respect Will and Jada for trying to bring their children up in a different way that they were brought up because we can't even get black people to admit that the way we were brought up was fucked up. It was carried on. It was passed on from this plantation. Us beating our kids and stuff like that. Beating them. Beating them raw. Beating them bloody. Come on. Then you got, well, all I'm trying to say is, when you meet somebody, and I tried to do a video about this the other day, um, about the charging up, being all charged, and this person is love bombing you, and just doing everything for you, cooking for you, bringing you stuff, doing all types of stuff. You're like, damn, this is really something. You know, uh, beware of those kind of relations that overflow you, overflow you with things and love. and uh, It's not really love. And a lot of times, it's just like a, a, a basic car salesman. <laughs> you know, you go to the car lot and the person will, will tell you every damn thing. Oh, yeah, la, 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 To get you to purchase the car. Tell you everything you want to hear. That's just like these personalities like this. And then when you get tied up with them, if you survive with your spirit intact, you've done well. And I implore everybody in our community start taking our mental health serious because we are too emotionally retarded not to. We really are. So we can identify these behaviors in ourselves, in our families. It's important because then we're going to be able to see um, there's a lot of damage going on and it's got to be addressed. Okay. So how many of y'all following that Johnny Depp legal team in the trial, whatever's going on? How many of y'all know about borderline and histrionic? Um, uh, 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 those kind of personalities that just make living with a person almost impossible. How many of y'all know about those? Let me know in the comment below. And I'll see you in the next video.